Yet another two parties are attempting to weigh in on the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC's lawsuit against Ripple. Top crypto exchange Coinbase and the crypto lobbying group the Blockchain Association are both seeking the court's permission to file legal documents, known as amicus briefs, in the Ripple case, according to files shared by digital asset legal website Crypto Law. Coinbase explicitly seeks to back up Ripple's fair notice defense. The San Francisco payments firm argues that the regulator failed to provide fair notice that it violated the law. Coinbase has formally petitioned the SEC to engage in rulemaking for the U.S. digital asset industry so that market participants can have a better idea of what to expect in the future and avoid losses such as those that occurred in this matter. In the absence of a regulatory framework governing digital assets, Coinbase believes that parties like Ripple must be permitted to pursue fair notice defenses when facing surprise enforcement actions like this one. Kristen Smith, executive director of Blockchain Association, says the SEC's interpretation of securities laws is the greatest threat to the future of this rapidly growing industry. By erratically applying these outdated standards to a modern and innovative technology, the SEC continues its regulation by enforcement pattern, punishing crypto companies with little justification or warning. This is precisely the case with Ripple, which the SEC targeted nearly two years ago in a lawsuit alleging that the crypto company failed to register the digital token as collateral. The SEC must comply with the law. They cannot impose their draconian vision on the entire crypto ecosystem through coercive action. U.S. District Judge Annalisa Torres recently ruled that Philip Goldstein, a managing member of the investment advisory firm Bulldog Investors and Investor Choice Advocates Network, ICANN, can submit amicus briefs to support Ripple. ICANN describes itself as a not-for-profit public interest law firm representing parties that cannot advise on matters that have set a precedent before the Securities and Exchange Commission and impact family barriers. Torres also approved a similar request from an XRP Ledger Bitcoin payment app, Spend the Bits. In early October, the judge ruled that TapJets, which identifies itself as Uber for private jet rentals, and money transfer company iRemit, could also submit amicus briefs to support Ripple Labs. The SEC sued Ripple in late 2020, alleging that it issued XRP as an unregistered security. Meanwhile, holders of Ripple XRP, a digital asset designed to support cross-border payments, have begun to receive the long-awaited benefit. Flare Network, an Ethereum-compatible intelligent contract platform, has distributed 15% of the FLR token supply to XRP holders based on a snapshot taken on December 12, 2020. Remaining tokens will be released within the next 36 months. According to CoinGecko, FLR is up nearly 12% in the past 24 hours and has a market cap of over $500 million. This puts the token ahead of established DeFi tokens like MakerDAO's MKR and Curve Finance's CRV. Flare advertises what the project calls a state connector, which allows blockchain smart contracts to process information from external sources, such as other chains and the broader web, as a critical differentiator. State Connector performs a similar task at a high level to decentralize oracles, the most famous provider being Chainlink. According to a post from Team Flare, users who already hold XRP on major centralized exchanges like Binance, OKX, Kraken, and Bithum are eligible for the airdrop. Notably, Coinbase is absent from the list, although Flare said the distribution would take place in the first half of 2023. In recent days, a heated discussion has erupted between famous Fox Business journalist and host Charles Gasparino and the Ripple XRP community. Gasparino said the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, had good reason to target and prosecute Ripple before FTX. Even Ripple's legal counsel, Stuart Alderati, took a stand and refuted the arguments, as reported by Bitcoinist. Meanwhile, the Fox Business host clarified that he doesn't know who will win the case. He even admitted that judges' comments initially indicated that she would side with Ripple. But he also warned that this was before the whole SBF FTX explosion. Ripple's win is crucial for the entire crypto industry. In his two most recent tweets, Gasparino outlines a bleak future scenario for the broader crypto market and shares his score on the consequences the industry could face if the SEC wins over Ripple. Gasparino wrote via Twitter, The crypto community sees a bloodbath if the SEC wins Ripple in the form of more regulation monitoring that will affect nearly every industry, including exchange trading, as Gary Gensler wishes to force every coin must register to accept BTC. Gasparino is not entirely alone in this view, either. 
Even Ripple has said in previous statements that the company is fighting for itself and the entire crypto industry to avoid excessive regulation from the SEC. XRP price set for future bullish after Ripple's MENA expansion, also notable, is Gasparino's latest tweet referring to the largest U.S. crypto exchange. The reporter claimed that Coinbase hatched a plan to survive the regulatory crackdown from the SEC. Coinbase told Fox Business it is hatching a plan to survive the SEC's regulatory crackdown on digital assets by using brokers to trade coins registered as securities. The move comes as the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit emerges. The SEC victory could force coins outside of BTC to write. What could a bloodbath look like for the crypto market? The Fox Business host doesn't define what a massacre is. However, looking at history helps to understand the point. When the SEC sued Ripple on December 22, 2020, the price dropped 68% weekly. While Bitcoin and Ethereum are currently down 74.74 and 72.62% respectively from their all-time highs, XRP is at 89.31%, below its all-time high of $3.40, reached on January 7, 2018. As a result, XRP shows significantly poor performance. XRP price prediction, the bulls could aim for 40 cents or more. The outcome of the legal battle is still very difficult, with the XRP community, of course, having seen a lot of arguments in favor of the cryptocurrency. Ripple's win. In a recent blog post, Stuart Alderati, Ripple's general counsel, revealed that he expects a positive outcome to the lawsuit by Q2 2023. At the time of writing, the price of XRP is traded at 36.4 cents. With yesterday's upward move, XRP was able to break through the critical resistance at 35.6 cents. This opens the possibility of attacking the next resistance at 37.4 cents, possibly as early as Thursday when the December CPI data is released. The Fox Business host doesn't define what a bloodbath is. However, looking at history helps to understand the point. When the SEC sued Ripple on December 22, 2020, the price dropped 68% weekly. While Bitcoin and Ethereum are currently down 74.74% and 72.62% respectively from their all-time highs, XRP is at 89.31%, well below its all-time high of $3.40, reached on January 7, 2018. As a result, XRP shows significant gains in underperforming. The outcome of the legal battle is still very bitter, with the XRP community, of course, having seen a lot of arguments in favor of Ripple's victory. In a recent blog post, Ripple's general counsel Stuart Alderati revealed that he expects a positive outcome for the lawsuit by Q2 2023. At press time, XRP price is trading at 36.4 cents. With yesterday's upward move, XRP was able to break through the critical resistance at 35.6 cents. This opens the possibility of attacking the next opposition at 37.4 cents as soon as possible when the December CPI data is released. Do share your thoughts with us in the comments below. And to stay updated, make sure to click the subscribe button.